First and foremost, before we get started, I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rikah Kadash, and the one said those great millstones, while unto his truth, and also to the Ophelet that is scattered abroad. I like to say, Shalom, and come back here today with another great and powerful lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So the title of today's lesson is The Truth Always Comes Out. So I like to say, Shalom to all our listeners. Hope this way for you today and guide you back in the path of righteousness and back to your true power, which in fact is Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So before we start today's lesson, let's go to the book of Luke chapter 8 and verse 17. And it reads, there, For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. And I about so the truth is being declared. Also, when you go to Matthew chapter 24 and verse 14, this gospel shall be preached throughout the four corners of the earth. Then shall the end come. And I about how it is, how is it being known abroad through the what? The worldwide wealth through the internet and also through the what? The spirit and the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, his mouthpiece, which in fact are the prophets. And I about we know that the prophets are standing in the highways in the Bible. You know, they're standing on their watch. And it stand on fire for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So we know that the Lord is what removing what the covering, uh, the covering cast of what the all the lies and deception. And how about so? A lot of people are beginning to find out who are the true peoples of the Bible. Also, they begin a lot of people beginning to find out their true nationality. And how about and one thing about it is that hey man, the Lord is making it plain upon table. And how about it's, hey man, we seeing that what evil and deceit is being what quenched. And I about and the truth that had been so long without fruit is being declared through the spirit of power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And not about one thing about it, hey man, his word will not return to him void. And also it shall come to pass. The Bible is faithful and true. The Bible is a true book, whether people believe it or not. So all the gainsayers, all the unbelievers, things is coming at a fast pace. The truth is that, hey man, it's always come out. You know what I'm saying? Not about it, but one thing about it is that, you know, what was hid is now it's coming what? To light. Anything that was covered is being uncovered. Hey man, the Lord's doing a mighty work. We're constantly seeing all these Bible prophecies are speaking loud and clear. We are rejoicing because we almost we know that we at the end of this thing. And also, when you go into that word manifest, it means to me make it more obvious, more clear. So one thing about it is that, that it is clear that the truth is a hey, is it's out here everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So that's why all these things are happening. You know what I'm saying? The Lord also is getting ready to bring for a judgment. We already know that we're ready upon a time of trouble that we have never seen before. So a lot of things are happening. The Lord is pouring out his spirit on all flesh. You know what I'm saying? People are prophesizing left and right. It is high time to prophesy. And also we know that our, our salvation is very close to him yet believe. We already know that the prophecies are speaking. We, we know that we waiting on what the MOTB. We know that once once the MOTB has been implemented, we know that all hell would break loose. It would be like a domino effect. So it's a very short lesson through the uh, spirit of power. I have a few short videos and after the videos uh, we will start the lesson and I hope that you will get edified British Christians are mad as hell they're just leaving comments non-stop on all the videos it's like if we're not teaching the truth why are you so mad I'm not mad because we're all coming to find out that everything the Christian church has taught us over the years is all bullshit yep. there's no such thing as a literal hell there's no such thing as a literal virgin birth Easter is not in the Bible. Christmas is not in the Bible. Yes, you have to keep the laws of the Old Testament. Yes, reincarnation is in the Bible. There is no such thing as a trinity, okay? The Son of God, Yahweh Shai, is called the Son of God. And his name ain't Sweet Jeebus, he's the Son of God. And the Lord's a so-called black man with woolly hair. He's not a so-called white man. And the fake Jews living in the state of Israel, they're not the real Jews. But the Christians worship them devils. And Satan and the angels never got kicked out of heaven in the book of Genesis. That's more fairy tales from the Christians. There's nothing but nonsense. White people are scared to death right now, particularly white males. They're scared to death that they are going to lose their power in the future. And they are. But if you want to get ready for the future, if you want to be treated well in the future, treat others well in the present. Any white person who was born, raised, and schooled in the United States of America, if you aren't a racist, you're a miracle. Either that or you decided to educate yourself. Because education in this country is about white is right, brown's all right, black's got to stand back. 
yellow's mellow, but whites, we, we educate in a way that says that white males have done all the adventures, have made all the adventures, have done all the discovering, have made all, and everything that is good and has been accomplished has been accomplished according to social studies, which is actually anti-social studies, by white males. It's a lie. But we do that in order to maintain the myth of white superiority. The myth of race has to be maintained at all costs in this country. Because if white people have to give up the color of their skin as being something that makes them perfect, what do they have left? So now let's start a day lesson. So we're seeing that, hey, man, the truth is, is coming out left and right. And out of by he's making what Esau bearer and bearer each and every day. So let's start the day lesson in Isaiah a very quick lesson through spirit, uh, Isaiah chapter 25, Isaiah chapter 25 and verse seven. <clears throat> and it reads, and he will destroy in this mountain, the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. Let's read that again. Isaiah chapter 25 and verse seven. He said, and he will destroy in this mountain, the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. And who is he? That is who? Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. He said he will destroy in this mount. And that in and, and, and what mount? Which in fact is what? Babylon the Great or Mark. And out about you. So when you go into mount, mount also goes into what? Nations, governments. You know what I'm saying? Out about it. So so one thing about it is that we're seeing that the Lord is moving what? The lies and the deception. You know what I'm saying? That was spread over all nations. So we now we're seeing that we're at the end and the truth is being declared. How is the truth being declared? Through the what? Through the uh, prophets, through the mouthpiece of Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Child. So it's so all, everything now that was is turned upside down the lord is bringing back that righteous order the lord is getting ready to set everything back into order so we seeing that that righteous order is getting ready to return you know so we knowing that what esau is the end of this earth eh? and jacob is the beginning of it that follows so the lord is destroying all those lies and deception that's why the lord said that the the deceive and the deceiver is here says the lord so we seeing that what the, the the truth is 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 constantly what flourishing you know what i'm saying it's constantly what increasing you know what i'm saying all 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 this, this, this lies and deception is what it's diminishing and also you know what I'm saying he's constantly uh, uh, exposing you know what I'm saying he's constantly exposing uh, uh, Esau Edom you know the, the, the so called white man the devil that the Bible speaks of and I bet he's you know he cannot run he cannot hide so amen the Lord is removing the covering cast through the spirit of power Yahweh you know what I'm saying hey just like I said this gospel shall be preached Throughout the four comes of earth, then shall the end come. And also when you go to Ezekiel chapter 33 and verse 33, you know what I'm saying? It's in that day, they shall know that a prophet was among them. And so a lot of people begin to see all the gain sin and all the unbelief is beginning to be a thing of the past. Is this a conspiracy theory? No, these are the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. They are faithful and true. The Bible is a true book and it's a living book. And also we're living in the end time. Real time, we seeing it happening right before us. So let's go here to uh, Habakkuk chapter uh, two. Very quick lesson: Habakkuk chapter two, Habakkuk chapter two and verse sixteen. Habakkuk chapter two and verse sixteen. And it reads: "Said Thou art filled with shame for glory. Said Drink thou also, and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of the Lord's uh, right hand shall be turned." unto thee and shameful spirit shall be on thy glory and out of the Bible so we seeing that you know what I'm saying the Lord is what is making Esau bear and bear left and right and also he also getting ready to drink of that cup you know the cup of uh, oppression the cup of what affliction also the cup of what of slavery so we know that slavery is coming back in a big way but that about hey the truth always comes out you know what I'm saying? And in the end, you know what I'm saying? We're in the end and it's being manifest right before our eyes. So we're seeing that, you know what I'm saying? Shameful spirit is upon his glory. Whose glory? The so-called white man. You know what I'm saying? The devil that the Bible speaks of. So we're seeing it happening left and right. He cannot run. He cannot hide. So, you know, hey, it is here. So let's go here to uh, Jeremiah chapter. Let's get a little bit more on that. Uh, a little bit more edification. Let's go here. Jeremiah chapter 49. One moment. Jeremiah chapter 49. And verse, I think it's verse 10. One moment. Jeremiah chapter uh, 
49 and verse 10 said, said, but I have made Esau bear the so-called white man, and I have uncovered his secret place, and he shall not be able to, to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren, and his neighbors, and he is not. So one thing about it is that so, so Lord, all the things that he uh, had hid in the past, our history, our inheritance, you know, our way of life, our birthright, all those things are, is coming to the light. Now, when you go to uh, Psalm chapter 82, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it will give you a list of all our enemies that kept us down as a next to try to, to, to what? She said, my hidden ones. That means, you know, hid our what? Nationality. You know what I'm saying? Who we were as a people, you know what I'm saying. Also, you know a lot of things that was taken from us. The Lord's getting ready to what to restore us. You know what I'm saying. Hey man, one thing about it is that we're here. We're very excited. So the truth always comes out. So hey man, we see it through the spirit of power. Yahweh, Bashim Yahushai. You know, got to be very careful with this lesson. But one thing about it is that hey man, we're here, man. I mean, things are happening left and right. So you no, know, say hey, but one thing about it is that who. Who is the liar on the earth? You know what I'm saying? Who is that deceiver? It's the so-called white man, the devil that the Bible speaks of. Once again, these are not hate speaks. Speak. This is coming straight out of the Bible. You know what I'm saying? These words are faithful and true. So let's go here. Let's go here to uh, Job chapter Job chapter 13. We get one more. Job chapter 13. One moment. Job chapter 13 and verse, I think it's verse 4. Job chapter 13, verse 4. And he reads that, but ye are forgers of lies. Ye are all a physician of no value. You know what I'm saying? Esau eat them. So one thing about it is that, you know, all the lies that they have uh, brought forth over, over many uh, 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 centuries, you know, they are coming to light now. You know what I'm saying? The Lord is removing the covering cash. You know what I'm saying? So one thing about that, you know, hey, hey you, you, you cannot hide from the Lord. You cannot uh, 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 run from the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Because the Lord is in perfect control, you know what I'm saying? And one thing about it is that, you know what I'm saying, Lord is all knowing, all seeing, you know what I'm saying? Hey, one thing about it is that, hey, he see all things, and I, no one has gotten away with anything, you know what I'm saying? Judgment is getting ready to come forth, and hey, man, we're here, this is that door, so let's go here to, uh, uh, let's go to Kleistaski, I mean, uh, Kleistastes, Sorry, getting tongue tied again. Uh, Clestastes, uh, chapter 12. Clestastes, chapter 12. One moment. <clears throat> and verse uh, 14. Clestastes, chapter 12, and verse 14. <clears throat> and it reads, said, For the Almighty shall bring every work unto judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it it be evil. So one thing about it is that, hey man, so we were upon judgment. So everything that everyone uh, have done, you know, in uh, in your past, like, you know, the, the, in that first video, we talked about reincarnation. And one thing about it, you know, it's faith and truth. Everyone have lived several times once before. There's no new thing under the sun. You know what I'm saying? The truth always comes out. You know, went through the spirit and the power. Yeah, how about Shimei Abishai? So the Lord's get ready to bring things to pass, you know, whether it was good or bad. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, you're going to get, you know, like a lot of people gonna, gonna get judged by your works, and out about some people don't have works, you know, some people don't have faith. But out of body, you you got a reward coming out of the death or uh, is what salvation. You know, it's it's it's, it's plain and simple. So let's read this again. Ecclesiastes chapter twelve and verse fourteen says, "For the Almighty shall bring every work unto judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil." So one thing about it is that, hey man. It's plain and simple, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, we're read right upon judgment. And out of body, you know, everyone got to go in front of the what? The judgment seat of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh, whether it was what? Good or bad. So, hey, man, we all going to get judged. The wages of sins is death. So, hey, we're here. So, so a lot of people beginning to find out, you know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of things, you know what I'm saying? A uh, great fear is falling upon these heathen nations and also these two thirds. And I'd buy, you know, so, you know, all this talking about, you know, I don't believe this, I don't believe that, or oh, we still have time, or, oh, you know, talking about a uh, white man, all these different things. Don't give a damn what they're talking about because one thing about it, you know, hey, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The truth always comes out. What was some. Uh, that did not believe, you know what I'm saying? Hey, but one thing about it is, hey, the, the truth gonna stay. It's gonna, it gonna, it's gonna flow. You know what I'm saying? These living waters. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna be able to turn it off. They're flowing right now. So let's get another quick preset. Let's go here to uh, before we close out. Lord, want me to go here? Let's go here to uh, um, I think it's Romans, Romans chapter three. We we'll go here right quick. This is a very quick lesson. Just rolling in the spirit on this lesson. Uh. 
Romans chapter 3, uh, let's see what verse I want. This here right here. Romans chapter 3 and verse 3 said, 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 For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Almighty without effect? Hell no. Verse, it said, verse 4 said, God forbid. Said, it said, it said, yea, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, thou, thou mightest be justified in thy sins and mightest overcome when thou art judged. One thing about this day, so you can't do nothing against the, uh, can't do nothing uh, against the truth, but for the truth. So, hey, man, things, you know what I'm saying? So, so the truth always will come out regardless of what type of. Or uh, lies they put out, what type of deception, or uh, how they try to cover up this, or uh, cover up the debt, you know, try to bring out all sorts of uh, 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 uh what you call these uh, distractions, and not about deception and lies, and not about one thing about it, it will be uh, without effect, you know what I'm saying? The truth will be declared, the truth is coming out left and right. So let's go to our last and final script, let's go here uh, to uh, secondary chapter six, and we'll close out there. Just a quick lesson through the spirit. <clears throat> Uh, second Ezra chapter six, second Ezra chapter six, six and verse 27. <clears throat> and it really said, for evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. Verse 28. So as for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome and the truth uh, which has been so long without fruit shall be declared. So that's what hap happening right now. You know, the truth always comes out and out about through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know what I'm saying, through the worldwide well, you know what I'm saying, and, uh, the men of the Lord and the highways and the byway, and out about the Lord is shedding light on everything. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, one thing about it, we're living in some very exciting time. You know what I'm saying? Judgment is now at hand. What was done to us is getting ready to be done to them. And out about it, hey, man, one thing about it is that, you know what I'm saying, no one has gotten away with anything. You know what I'm saying? One thing about it is that, you know, someone got to pay for these crimes. Let's get one more. Let's go to Obadiah. We'll close out here. Let's go to Obadiah chapter 1. Obadiah chapter 1. We'll close out here. Obadiah chapter 1 and verse 15. And it reads, really said, For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall, shall return upon thy own head. Verse 16, for as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain, so shall all the heathen drink continually. Yea, they shall drink and they shall swallow down and they shall be as though they had not been. And I about the truth always comes out through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So one thing about it, you cannot run, you cannot hide. And I about one thing about it, hey man, the truth is being declared. Throughout the four corners of the earth, then shall the end come. All the lies, all the deception, you know, so all the uh, 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 covering up things in the door is coming to the light. We're seeing it happening right before our eye. So, hey, man, we're here. We're at the end. We're living in end time, real time. And Bible prophecy, they are speaking loud and clear. Watch Pray and be sober. You know what I'm saying? Be circumspect. You know what I'm saying? Redeem the time wise. We're living in an evil time now. Things so is going to increase. You know what I'm saying? Right before what? The great and glorious return of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. So the title of the day lesson, once again, is The Truth Always Comes Out. So I like to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rikakadash. I like to say, Shalom. Shalom.